Hello, and we are at Falsafa again. In the last video, we spoke about what do we basically mean when we say that we are going to have a philosophical discussion or a philosophical thought. And we discussed about the nature of this world as being a conglomerate, being a collection, an interconnection of multiple things which are differential identities relating to each other. And then we said that the world is not constant, but everything constantly is in the process of doing. The world is in the process of becoming. What is the nature of this doing? What do we do, basically? Very simply put, if this world, the definition of the world, is a collection of all the things that it comprises of, and all the activities that these things carry out, then we are creators of our reality. In being who we are, in doing what we do, we are constantly bringing forth a world. We are constantly creating events of world reality, events which comprise the definition of world reality at any given point. The basic word to be, or I am, he is, we are, all these statements are statements of being. This is basically an act. It is already an activity to be, to exist. And to be is to be a part of world reality, is to be a part of the definition of the world as we know it. What we do is we bring forth a world. This is what we do. And why do we do what we do? This is a huge question that we try and, and articulate for the rest of the, of the videos or rest of the sessions that we have at Falsafa. But to start to think at a very, very basic level, why do we do what we do? We always go out with a desire to express our being in world reality, with a desire to turn becoming in our way. To put it again very simply to begin with, it's to say that we go out there to assert ourselves. We want to power over the constituents of the world we are dealing with in a certain event and turn it to our wish, to our will. Whether it is talking to someone, whether it is cooking a dish, whether it is driving a car, we are constantly going out there to assert ourselves. Also, this assertion has an aim. We go out with an aim and we go out there to make sure that all these constituents in the event that we are interacting with move in consonance with our will. Next, assertion of power is one portion of this, of this will to assert ourselves. What we are also aiming at is a certain satisfaction, a certain satiation, a certain sort of happiness, or you call it pleasure. We don't go out there to just power, we also go out there to attain pleasure for ourselves, a sense of satisfaction of having orchestrated what we set out to do. And there is a third in this triad as well. We don't go out just for power and pleasure, but we also go out constantly to build up on our past efforts, on our past actions. In every act that we do, there is inherent this will to overreach the self. This is what we go out to do. At the moment, you can treat it as a hypothesis. You can disagree with me that we only go out for power, for pleasure and for overreaching. But with more sessions like this, we'll try and put forth examples from day-to-day -day reality and try to see does this hold true in every situation of doing that we are involved in? So this is a journey and it will be really nice to have you along in all such sessions. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel Pratyancha. To write to me, to disagree with me, to discuss with me, you can write to me at pratyancha here at gmail.com. You can visit my website www.pratyancha.in to know more about this course Falsafa and the other course that I run for Trusik. And it's really nice to have you guys watching this. Please keep coming. Thank you.